we make Christ known by thinking, acting, speaking, as the presence of Christ is in the world. Our spirit influence is we make Christ known by thinking, acting, and speaking. In other words, it becomes a way of life. Mm. See, this, this, this Bible can't just be good when someone is in trouble, you need something. No. You know, some people treat God as, 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 as almost uh, like a prostitution in a sense. No. You know, they only call on when they need something. Mm. And they think they, they, they pay a list or write a check for this or write a check for that. It's just going to resolve all of the issues. Because you do a noble thing. Just because you donate to the cancer society, or you donate to this, or you donate to that, you donate to this. That ain't gonna clean up the sin that's in your heart. Yes. All right. Because you got evil people know how to give good gifts. That's what the Bible said. He said, even the devil, if he even the be evil, know how to give his son get good gifts. What more your heavenly father will give them that he need? Don't even ask. Hmm. Amen. Oh, Satan knows know how to cut a good check. I'm not impressed because they do this and they do that. They fed 10,000 people, so what? They still bit on evil because some people are still tied to the organization that you have no clue about. Yes, on the surface it looks good. Yes, it feels good. But it's still not done from genuineness. Yes, I hear you, Yes, Lord. Some people have a hidden material motive. That's why they only come around certain times. That's why they only connect with people certain times. There's some people know you, and they ain't going to connect with you until they, they see your whole status change. Mm. Then they become your friend. Then they want to talk to you, this and this and that. But, but where are you? Where are you? Huh. Before you get the mansion, before you get the success, before you get the be beautiful portfolio, where are you then? Yes. In the sad, in Christendom, that we have allowed division and Christendom based on status. The world thinks that way. We ought to be coming together, congregating together. Why is it so hard for saints of God to come together? Because we measure success with the world's yardstick. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. You are the salt of the earth. This is the Beatitudes. You know, the Beatitudes came before this. Yes. He said, you are the salt. He didn't say them, you. You, you are the salt. Quit putting yourself on the levels of unbelievers. Well, we ain't no better. No! The, the, the Bible say, he, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. How can you compare yourself with unbelievers? All right. You've been transformed. At least that's what you say. But if the salt, there was an if, that's a conditional thing. That's right. If the salt loses its salt face, the same there. Yes. The salt is. How do we lose our salt Yes. By demonstrating something that's contrary or opposite of the word of God. You begin to lose your salt. Because some people lose their saltiness in the sake of saving friends, yeah. colleagues, loved ones. See, see, some some people they, they just ostracize you in private. They don't do it public. Because they don't want they don't really want you to know what side they really on of the spectrum. Oh, they'll do certain things, they'll say certain things, and it sounds very authentic, it sounds very good. But deep down inside, watch the action. Ain't it what the old folks say? Actions speak louder than what? Words. Words. Oh, that's still true. Amen. Really true. You are the light of the world. Yes. A city that sits on a hill. And the reason why he had to use the metaphor picture of a city that sits on a hill, because a lot of times, most cities, they will, they will be on hilltop, so when they are lit at night, that you can see them before the, over the horizon. Yes. So that's why a lot of times, cities will be upward. Visible. You are you should be visible. Your light should illuminate. Mm. Therefore, you should be able to walk in a situation and say, What can I do huh. to help you? Yeah. What can I do to strengthen you? That's what Paul did back in, in the biblical time. He went from place to place to empower, to strengthen, to encourage churches. And we have lost it in Christendom. Yeah, Why are we not helping? 
to one another. Why would I be? Because we're so busy building our own heavenly kingdom. We're so busy not empower one another or put the price tag on how we empower one another or we want to sell the, 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 the whole uh, kingdom plan. We're going to turn God's kingdom plan into marketing material. When the last time you strengthen your brother mm. ah, with your connections, mm. with your wherewithal, with your ability, your capability. Now what the Bible says, if you, see, if you see your brother need you, you shut up under your Bible of compassion. How can the Lord Father dwell in you? How can you have millions and millions of dollars and you have to reach the platitude of success and you don't even want to go back and help your brother if they're really your brother? See, we, we can say in the song, and the song is good. Yes. But when are you going to demonstrate yes. what you're saying? Amen. We do not reflect the underbelly of our culture. We are not known as the deadbeats or the freeloaders of our society. We are the very presence of God's permeating every place with the taste savior of salt and the warmth of light. That's who we are. We're not like the low degenerate of society, the low degree. Jesus called them a generation of vipers. Don't you be afraid to talk, call it what it is. Yeah. Man, I don't want to offend nobody. The Bible said Jesus was a fit of fist and a stumbling block to Saul. We have to stand, saints of God. Amen. We were faced with so much. At one point in time, it was, it was more the, 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 the terrorism, the ISIS, and all these other terrorist groups. Now we got homegrown terrorists that we don't want to call terror. We call them active shooters. We downplay it. We downplay it like it's, like, like, like it's not as serious as it is. Yes. There's domestic terrorism in the soul. Yes. And I can jump on the spiritual side. There's domestic terrorists in the church. Yes. How you know that? Go back to the book of Acts. The Bible says, after my departure, grievous war shall rise up from what? Amongst you, not sparing the flock. Right. Sparing. It's in the book. They're going to rise up from amongst you. Yeah. False doctrines and different things and following doctrines of demons. Second Timothy, we bring it and say, give me about five, ten more minutes. Second Timothy 14. Amen. Y'all see me up here with a water bottle. Y'all know what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> Second Timothy 14 says, For demons having loved this present world has deserted me and gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia and, and Titus to Delta. For demons have loved this present world. Yeah. The world, the word world in the Greek cosmos to arrange. Cosmetics, when we get the word cosmetic, this present world, this present idealism, this present way, this present thinking for demons. Demons had to be a follower of Christ. Yes, and Paul was talking to Timothy at this time, but he would let them know That's right. that we got some people that, that, that well, a person here that, that used to yes. roll with me. Yes. But the love of the world was so strong in their heart. That they abandoned. Yes. They walk with God. You got a lot of people that are apothesizing. That means to move away from one's original position. So I'm not I'm not surprised when the church, I'm talking about the body of believers, not Christ over and over, but the body of believers. When you see less and less people, amen, wanting to come, now they advocate about even fellowship. Mm -hmm. They try to use COVID as a reason not to con congregate. Now they ain't even talking about COVID on the news and they still won't congregate. Huh. And this effect is happening to many churches. Because sometimes when you watch it on TV and different ministries, you will see that there's a decline. Now, I know you got some people that are preaching a false gospel. You got some people that are tending to the itching ears, as one verse will say in the book of Timothy. And you know, they, they will heap up teachers for themselves. Yes, that is true. And then you got, then you got another group that will always be a remnant that's going to stand firm on the pure adultery yeah. gospel and preach the truth. So when you preach the truth, you, things don't happen as fast. Hmm. But when, when sometimes people take a shortcut, and then there's other times that God does bless people yeah. in, in a big way. But a lot of times, God blesses other people in a big way because they don't want to coordinate. 
there's, 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 there's unity, there's camaraderie, there's connection. And when the connection is real, God will bless. 